What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today I'm bringing you guys another guide on Blue Archive. We're going to be talking about damage types and then also the type of warfare all in one video. Also, please make sure to like, comment on this video if you appreciate and you love the content I'm putting out, and subscribe to the channel if you are loving the content I'm putting out. And if you want to know when I'm doing it, go ahead and hit that bell notification. I'm loving the support you guys are doing. I went from 30 subscribers, and within a week, I'm already almost hitting 100, and you guys have been spin putting out views comments i love it i love it i love the support that you guys are giving me but anyway let's hop into the video so when we're looking at right this damage types what i'm talking about is like so if we go to a mission for instance and we're wanting to look at like let's say oh lord i go through all this but uh we'll just use this one for now i'm not gonna do it but if we're wanting to look at like damage, like what does this exactly mean, right? The enemy does normal damage and their defense is light. That's what I'm talking about, right? So use this chart here. This is the synergy info. It kind of helps you know what you want to build your team with uh, based on the enemies that you're fighting. So if we see that we're fighting an enemy with defense type light, obviously you want to match the color with it. You do not want to use a piercing type because that's going to be resisted by it. If you guys want to know those numbers, I can go ahead and show you that. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about with the like kind of values. So what you want to look at is like I was talking about with explosion being strong against light and penetration being weak against light. So whenever an effect is weak, you're getting a 150% uh, damage dealt. Now that's just basically 1.5 times, so an extra 50% to your damage. And then the resist is gonna be a 50% reduction in your damage, so you're doing half damage. So in that mission that I was talking about, the explosive damage is gonna get a 50% buff, and penetration is gonna get a 50% reduction. Now if I were to use Mystic, that would actually just be base damage there'd be no penalty for using that at least when we're talking about type compatibility right so whenever you're building your teams you really want to think about like how many units do i have at least that match the type compatibility which that's more important than the type of warfare that i'm going to go over after this so you want to think about both of them and if you have units that are both uh, that are good in both and that's amazing that's great but the type compatibility is what matters most it's going to be the biggest buff so even if you don't have good indoor units or field warfare units or urban units then at least match the type compatibility right so like those of you who are fighting like subakis in pvp use a mystic or at least use a penetration um that's what you want to do if you're seeing people you know use um suka like you want to use penetration um right no not penetration you want to use mystic <laughs> i got it mixed up but like uh just just look at this chart uh and it's in the game i'll show you where it's in the game and just think about that when you're building your teams right i mean you know what you see uh same thing when you're doing raids like right now it's penetration so uh, i mean right now it's heavy armor so you're wanting to use penetration so don't use mystic use explosion if you don't have a bunch of penetration you know and like right now we don't have um destruction type in the game but uh when we do you know it's going to do honestly nothing to anything other than uh, structure so you know when we get that we get that and then normal we don't have any units that have normal that's just going to be the um enemies but uh, that's what you want to think about Anyway, we're going to go into the type warfare. Okay, so this is going to be going over type warfare, which has to deal with like the location of the battle and how your characters react to that. So whenever you like start the match, you'll see occasionally like your units will have like a uh, emoji above them, which kind of corresponds to the evaluation that they have and the extra damage that they have. And if they're a tank, their shield block rate. So you do want to pay attention to this if you can. But again, it's not too crazy right like even when you're uh excellent i haven't seen any outstanding personally but when you're at excellent it's a 20 percent increase in damage you know good it's a 10 percent then neutral here and then this is where it starts to go 
a little south, but it's like it's like a 20% reduction in damage, which is why like you'll see me using a unit that is like a devaluation. But if they're a strong character, like this is fine, especially if they're gonna be like taking out like a specific type of unit that they'll match by the type uh advantage, then it's worth it, right? So but if you're wanting to, you know, take advantage of like all the damage that you can, then, you know, pay attention to this. So this is kind of giving you a really nice, like just um, reference to use. And especially if you're using a tank, like for a tank, I would suggest matching up with the uh, type warfare because it's going to help them block more and be able to, um, you know, survive a lot longer. Uh, but other than that, like, it's pretty straightforward, just, you know, just giving you kind of a value to that, that you, you know, would need to use or think about whenever you're building those teams, because that's how you're going to maximize the amount of damage that you're doing, especially in PVP, like all these small damage, like increases here and there, they matter in the grand scheme of things, because like you have players of the top ranks, I mean, who are building their characters with the armor, with their skills. And you see those like high percentages on some people's like skills. It's like 500, 600, 700. So then if they're getting like an extra boost, all that does is just make that even stronger um, to where you could pretty much one shot somebody's tank by having the right type warfare, by having the, you know, having the uh, damage unit that they're weak to, and then also having the correct unit for the correct area. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I just wanted to show you just how some of the damage is, just give you a value to that, and just kind of show how important it is to at least get, again, that type advantage. And then if you can't get the type warfare correctly, then hey, kudos to you. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.